trying to run a business here. You want to spend time with my honeybees? Well, I'm gonna have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. As to your question, yes, my days of beekeeping are a blur, but I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep laughing all about.
But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No. Their little fingers were right there next to mine. We all pull it 
and are pulled by it. Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No, their little fingers were right there next to mine. Chong, frankly, I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid line as you propose, to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones, would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, 
Will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become of free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. encounter with a pair of them. He, a lumbering palooka in a foul-smelling diving suit. And she, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off. One of the children came and sat in my lap. I push her off. I shout, get away from me. I can see the Adam oozing out of the corner of her mouth. It's thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face, dirty clothes, and that dead glow in her eye. I feel hatred like I never felt before in my chest, bitter, burning fury. I can barely breathe. And suddenly I know. Why do they wear those masks? 
Maybe there's a part of them that remembers how they used to be, how they used to look. And they're ashamed.